There's one politician that a lot of people have no time for whatsoever. He's been ridiculed for trying to raise money running the London Marathon. He's coming for a lot of flack for apparently giving cushy multi-million pound contracts to his mates when he was health secretary. And he's coming for an awful lot of flack for cheating on his wife of many years and hurting his children in the progress. The one I'm talking about, of course, is Matt Hancock. How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Saturday. Hope you're doing all right. Well, we've talked a lot about Sir David Amos and what a lovely man he was. And, uh, you know, what? where do we go from here? And he's one of the good apples in uh, Parliament. And then you have your bad apples, those that are a little bit on the controversial side, those that should do the right thing and resign their seat in Parliament because of the uh, utter chaos you've brought to it and its reputation, as well as tarnishing your own in the process. We are, of course, talking about Matt Hancock. As we all know, he was the health secretary through the majority of the pandemic. And he resigned because he got caught out with an assistant and apparently was having an affair. And the rest we know is history. And he still maintains his position in Parliament. My personal opinion is he should go lock, stock and barrel. But like a lot of people like this who can't see their own faults, he probably thinks there is a way back in at some point in the future. And we all need to remember this when we get a chance to vote again. At the end of the day, that's how we express our desires with such things. I was most disturbed when I saw that he'd been offered a job with the United Nations, uh, specifically assisting the rebuilding of certain parts of Africa after the you know, chaos the pandemic has inflicted on the globe as a whole. And I thought to myself, hang on a minute, it may not be a paid position, but it's a little bit cushy considering your recent back history, don't you think? And it doesn't set a very good precedent for the opinion some of us hold of people in political circles. Well, I was quite warm today to read this headline. It would appear he lost the job before he even got it. They uh, withdrew the job offer before he could take it up. Now, looking into it, I actually became aware of this this morning and I wanted to sit on it until more news outlets reported it. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a collection of little troublemaking lefties or something like that trying to smear bad press everywhere. But apparently it's true. I, for one, think good. I don't think someone who's created the problems that he has in the public image should be given a responsibility like that. His reputation would not do the reputation of any other body any good whatsoever. Hancock himself claims it's because of an obscure rule that no one knew anything about uh, is the reason that's preventing him from taking up the post. My opinion, I think there's more to it. And that's all it is, my opinion. I'll leave you to your opinion. I'll be interested to know what you think. But at the moment, Matt Hancock can't get another job. I like it. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Give the video a like. I'll see you on the next one. Toodaloo.